Hello to Emmanuel Shachov. Hello, hello. The hostages, Israel, Gaza, what is the last update and what is your prediction towards the coming weeks and months? Um, I'm, I'm afraid um, to say it, but I think the hostages are lost. I think... Uh, all of them? Uh, I think all of them. I think... Uh, uh, I don't think the, um, the Prime Minister of Israel is going to uh, go through with this. He will find uh, endless reasons why not to, uh, mainly uh, he, because he doesn't want to finish the war in, in Gaza before he has destroyed Hamas totally, which is something which is quite impossible. Um, total victory, the hat, yeah, the, the initiative yeah, is not going to happen? It's, it's not, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And uh, so I'm afraid that the hostages are lost. Uh, I hope I'm wrong. Uh, but as, as, we f as we can see, over time, we just heard yesterday, the day before yesterday, two more hostages were declared uh, murdered. Uh, and this is going to continue until it's all over. So basically, your prediction is that Israel is going to abandon them. Yes. 120, they are not going yes, to be returning. They're going to be abandoned. Yeah. This ob obviously is not going to be said that way. Okay. It's, going, it's just going to drag out until they are in, and in fact, uh, they're going to be abandoned. I, I don't see it happen any other way. And do you think that, uh, and, and you are a former uh, official in the Israeli Mossad, and you know the Israeli forces from within and you know Israel for so many decades and your family is here you think that uh, the top Israeli officials that are in the negotiation they are going to be keeping their silence no they're going to talk they're going to speak up some of them are going to speak up some of them may even resign in protest uh, but it'll pass it'll pass it'll pass because the Israeli people are are not strong enough to fight back there. Well, we are strong enough, but uh, I, I think the situation is so bad that uh, people are depressed and they're not willing, they're not capable of, of getting, uh, getting the energy that which is needed to, to make the change that is needed. So Israel is basically still stuck? Completely. We're completely stuck. And, and there's, right now there's, uh, there's no way out with this government because the future of Israel, according to your understanding, needs that the hostages are going to be returning alive yes. from the tunnels that's of Hamas? The, the first step is the release of the hostages, um, which will release a lot of energy and will it'll give a positive impact. It will basically st uh, stop the war in Gaza, which is critical, because without stopping the war in Gaza, we w there will not be a stop of the war in the north. Without stopping the war in the north and in Gaza, there will the continuation of the war with the Houthi will uh, and other uh, areas will will not be possible. So uh, this is this is a critical point, and I think the prime minister has identified it as such, and that's why he's not going through with it because he knows that if if this whole thing starts to end end if the end of the war, if end of the hostilities his uh, job is going to be on the line and he doesn't want that. Because he, he thinks that ending the war is ending his position as the yes, Israeli Prime Minister? Yes, he, ending the war basically will result in a, in a commission of inquiry, will result in elections uh, and, and so on and so forth. So, so he, he doesn't want that. Do you think that the Israeli people basically understood the deep message of the October 7th massacre? They understood what really should be the deep understanding of what no, happened? No, no they didn't. No, we, we didn't. We, we, we keep being in denial. We look at what happened as a, an, an, a, an attack by the Palestinians, by, as a massacre, as a terrible event, as something that should have prevented, but not as um, something which was part of the, the struggle of the Palestinians for freedom uh, and self-determination. And therefore, we, we're not even contemplating uh, peace talks as a result of what happened. The word peace is the, not the mentioned. The word peace is, is not mentioned. There's just peace is not an peace is not an option. Okay, there's just just no no option on the table that involves the, the word peace. And how and why, according to uh, Israeli or Jewish values, being light unto the nations, understanding what is the goal of the Jewish and people in Israel for so many years. Why do you think that this deep understanding that 
Palestinians are also people that they should be part of mankind and Hamas should be punished by what he did but not all the Palestinians why do you think that these values are vanished? I think the, the I, don't, I don't think the values have uh, have vanished, but they have they've been sub subdued systematically over many many years by lots of propaganda, uh, lots of uh, uh, brainwashing. Social, the social me social media, a lot of brainwashing, very 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 poor leadership, uh, and basically. Uh, making you know positions of that have humanitarian values um, make illegitimate okay so what is do you think is the main message that should be reflected towards Israelis after October 7th war what Israelis didn't or are still not understanding in the picture that that we have to resolve the Palestinian the conflict with the Palestinians Otherwise, we're going to lose the, our legitimacy as a as a Jewish state. Okay, it's clear that the decision that has been taken in in the Hague uh, last Friday uh, undermines the legitimacy of the Jewish state uh, if it continues the the, the occupation. Uh, and uh, as I, as far as I can tell, there is no Zionist party at this time which has said that we have to stop the occupation. Okay. It, the occupation is, is, is not mentioned, all, almost not mentioned by anybody. Uh, the only party that uh, could talk about that is Labour, and that also has been very reticent. Uh, so, so what you are saying that if the message, the deep one, is not understood, the massacre of October seventh might come back even worse in the future. Yeah, I, I, uh, the the. Uh, uh, violence that has uh, has happened then can happen again also in the West Bank, and well, from what I hear, the West Bank is very close to a breakout of of massive violence. We we not we're not following, uh, but but you know we had uh, uh, air uh, the air force attacking in Tulkarem just yesterday or today. Okay, Tulkarem is a few minutes from Ranana, yeah, yeah, from Farsaba, from from Natanya. This is very very close by. We're we're you know we're re we're relating to this. As, as if this is a normal situation where the Air Force attacks areas which are very, very close. And as, as if, um, you, know, you know, there's a huge civilian population which is under, uh, under siege, okay? And uh, as if this can be maintained, you know, just the thought. Talking about maintenance, the polio disease that is rising up, uh, from Gaza and they're talking in the uh, media and also in the IDF that they're trying to uh, Give some any kind of cure to the Israeli soldiers. No, no nothing mentioning the Palestinians. Yeah uh, what, what I find absolutely amazing and it's an, uh, again an indication of how, how much humanitarian values have deteriorated in, in the Israeli mindset uh, That we're talking about polio vaccinations only for the soldiers who are in Gaza and not for the civilian population. Imani, would you recommend to vaccinate also the Gaza Arab Palestinians? Uh, first of all, uh, f uh, uh, for medical reasons, this, sh this is what should be done. But also for for legal reasons, it better be done because we are we are the occupation uh, the op occupation power occupying power in in Gaza. If we weren't before, we definitely now. And we are obliged by law, law to do that. It also makes this humanitarian sense. No one is talking about this vaccination. So no. far, I've I've heard nobody talk about it. I've heard nobody take a position, and um, this is, is mind-boggling. So the federation idea that you are living for so many years with books, with content, with lectures, with meetings, with top Israeli officials, do you think is still relevant as a solution right now? It's 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 becoming more and more relevant. Uh, I, one not, state. Uh, one state. That will be the 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 the, the long term solution. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think I'm not sure that we can skip the two state uh, f as an intermediate position because of many reasons. But the the, the long term solution will be a federation. Absolutely, yeah, I'm 100% I'm sure. You know, towards the end of this interview, this meeting, you're always finding some kind of light, some kind of hope. 
So please share with I, us. I, I, the only thing positive I can see now is that, that, that our book about the Federation proposal, uh, the international version should be, the, the, the draft should be out very soon, uh, probably by the end of the month or the first part of August. And I hope it will go into print by, uh, by the end of the summer. Uh, and then, then people will be able to rally around it and put, a, you know, put some pressure on the... The new international uh, book written uh, by you, Immanuel and, Shachaf, and, and your... Pa my Palestinian partner, Taisir Abu Saada, uh, who I will meet tomorrow in the, in the vicinity of Jericho to hear more about what's going on in the West Bank. You're worried that what is happening also in the West Bank can occur to what happened in Gaza? Yeah, absolutely, sure. Absolutely. It and can explode. It can explode, yeah. It can explode and uh, we're going to be responsible. Emmanuel Shachov, people that want to be part of your journey, the publishing journey, the uh, looking for a better identity for Israel and the Palestinians, talking about peace, how can they reach you? Facebook, Emmanuel Shachov, the Federation Movement, ident Identity, the Quest for Israel's Future, I'm there. Emmanuel Shachov, thank you very much. Thank you.